Hi everybody, it's Amalia and I'm here today with a haul. I went to Michael's and I did some shopping at uh, Spellbinders. Let's see. I'm going to take everything out of here. Or maybe not. Let me start with the spend Spellbinders haul. I'm going to start with the Spellbinders haul and then... We'll talk about this other stuff. I'm going to start with the Spellbinders haul because I got me some great deals. If you're not signed up for any of the Spellbinder emails, you should do so right away because uh, then you'll find out when they have some of their awesome sales. And uh, so here's what I got. First of all, I apparently do not have enough adhesive, which is not correct at all, but they had these on sale, and I'm sorry, I forgot how much they were. They were about a two, something like two and a half dollars, I think, and I just got some foam squares. I got these two millimeter foam squares for 217 pieces and 126 pieces. Uh, looks like these are half inch squares. Let's... Let's just take them out and see what they look like. Because you can say half an inch, and I don't know what that means. Okay. So, half an inch squares. And these are, these actually look kind of thin. I like that. And these are the, oh, they're a mix pack. Small and large. And these small ones with the black foam and these large ones. These are kind of nice, actually, because these are real thin. They're not very thick at all. And these are just the half inch ones and the white foam. So those are kind of nice. Let me see these. These are the ones that I have from Scrapbook Adhesives. And I just want to do a little comparison. Yeah, these are about the same. These look slightly smaller. Nope, they're the same. So, and the thickness is probably about the same, too. I don't know. I don't know, those look a little thinner. But it might be because they're, the black background is making them look thick, thinner. You know how slimming black is? <laughs> Alright, anyway, I got those. Very happy, because I'm always using these. And I have the, um, what's it called? This is the Baker's Box, so it makes a 3D box. And this went with the Pie Perfection collection that they had that I bought uh, sometime in the spring, I think. And it was all the pie pieces. So it made a pie, it made the top of the pie, the crust of the pie, it made the pan, it had silverware, serving stuff, etc. So I got the box. It's a 3D box. This is part of the silverware. See the pie in the middle right there. So I got that. And again, um, no idea how much I paid for this stuff, but generally each piece was about, I would say, under $5. And then I got the door. I've been wanting this for a while. This is the open door base. So it gives you this door, and I think, yes, uh, it gives you the door, the uh, ivy, let's call it, the doormat, and what else? Oh, look, also this, I guess this is called a transom up here, and these are going to be the stairs and some flowers, and what is this? That's the mail slot, that's the doorknob, what's that? That's the um, crown molding. What is this piece here? I can't, oh, it's one of these. Oh, got it, okay. Okay, well, maybe not. Yeah, it's the piece that fits in here. This does not, yeah, okay. Got it, thank you. And then to go with this, what the heck is this? This is the side panels. What are these called? Back here. And this 
transom addition there. Yep, so it's this piece, this piece right here, those pieces there. This is extra, and it's not part of this, but I got this to go with that. So that I'm excited about. This I was really excited about. This is part of the collection from Vicky Papayanu. And this was the collection from Tina Smith. But um, yeah, it's a brush with tulips. So it's a nice size, decent size. By the way, I got an extra one. I'm starting a collection of stuff for a giveaway. So I got an extra one of these to add to the giveaway because it was such a good price. I thought I should do that. And I got one of these, which I just love. And that it doesn't come with the sentiments. Did I get, I did get some sentiments. Yes, I did. You color me happy, which is this sentiment right here. Paint your dreams, create art. Crafty friends are the best friends. Rain, my favorite color is rainbow. Create something every day, etc., etc. So I got these as well. Uh, so for the cutting dies, this I just love. This whole thing right here could make a card in and of itself. A five, five by seven, maybe an A2 size card. Let, let's see. Let's not, let's not guess. Let's see. Five and a half. This is about five and a half. It looks like it's a little bit more than five and a half. Why don't you want to have the measurements on here? Put the measurements on here, people. And this one is a little bit more than four and a quarter. So it'll be on a five by seven card if you want, or you could make it this an entire card. Cool, happy, love it. I forgot that I had gotten this, but look how cute that is. It's a Becky Roberts design and it's a shopping cart. An excuse to buy something you don't need, sale. I can totally relate to that. 3D shopping cart right facing oh I guess they must have a left facing one too so cool excited about that uh, I got a stencil to add to my massive uh collection of stencils but I really liked these textures and so I decided to get these as well this was all very affordable this was actually two shopping trips I got like half and then I bought made another order and it was funny because I spent a little bit more on the second order, but the shipping was cheaper on the second order. Uh, I would like I would like somebody to explain that to me, but whatever, you know, whatever. So I went to Michael's. What did I go to Michael's for? Oh, I went to Michael's. Doesn't matter why I went. I went and I found a couple of things. Uh, I love getting things on clearance. This is an artist loft reversible liquid art panel so it's for that uh pouring art stuff in a panel and does that say reversible yes it does okay and it's a six by six and i'm looking forward to using that i also got one of these uh i think i got a discount on this like 30 percent off or something like that something some sort of coupon it's a cart bin divider so it's one of these with uh pockets on it and I got a new cart I got the the Hudson of the carts that they sell they have the little names for them compatible with Lexington Hudson and Grabercy I have I bought the Hudson it's long and thinner than uh, the other ones and uh, I got it because I had been wanting one of the long thinner ones and uh, I rearranged my whole cart. That was a whole, that was a whole thing, putting that cart together. It took like a couple of days because I just, it was like exhausting. <laughs> I still have the other cart that I had and I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that cart. Right now it's kind of like in limbo in my room. 
and uh, yeah, I have too much stuff. And I know that we all know what that's like. And uh, it's just, it's really overwhelming. And I'm in one of those, I'm overwhelmed kind of moods. Um, so I'm overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that I have and, uh, by the lack of, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm producing stuff. I'm on a design team, so I'm producing stuff for the Riley and Company design team, but, um, I want to, and I love, love, love my Riley products. Um, but I really want to delve into some other stuff. I have so much other stuff that's unused that I loved it when I bought it and I want to use it. And it's overwhelming that I'm not having the opportunity to use it. So there, that's it. Anyway, they had uh, cardstock on sale at Michael's and, uh, you know, it's like one of their regular sales, 40% off, 50% off, buy one, get one, whatever. Um, but they had some nice selection to choose from. This is a foil cardstock and these are all like pastel -y colors, which, um, which I really like. There's a lavender, a soft green. I guess this is a gray or a slate. There's like this pinky raspberry color and this light gold color. And um, I already dug into this pack. And oh yeah, that's a blue. That's not a slate. And uh, started using. Here's that green. It's a really nice color. Uh, I think it's going to be great for uh, the springtime for sure. But I like the um, the colors of Christmas that are. Um, that are that are like not the traditional colors of Christmas so um that's kind of why I got it I like these soft pastel colors oh I'm so sorry I've got to organize this because I don't like the way it's folding and and I'm gonna get rid of this plastic and it's making me crazy and so anyway I got those pastel foil um whatchamacallit's papers and uh, they're working out really well. I'm happy with the colors and uh, the quality of the paper. It's not too thin. It's actually got some, some weight to it, so that's nice. And I also bought this primary color foil set for the, you know, traditional holiday colors or traditional orange, whatever that's for, and gold and a green and a beautiful, beautiful uh, blue. So, so yeah, I got that. And um, I also got this. This is the holographic foil. And I actually, I shouldn't have bought this because I, I, I have some 6x6 holographic foil paper. But now I have extra. So who knows? Maybe I'll put this in the giveaway too. Okay, so what else do I have here? Let's pick up this. Put this aside. Uh... I bought some of this, some Scopey air dry clay. Let's get some molds. Gotta take everything out of the bag. Okay, sorry for all the noise, but the bag is now empty. So this was on clearance for $2 from $5.99. Uh, Distress texture paste. This can be colored uh, with regular distress inks, any kind of inks, alcohol inks, any kind of inks that you have. And uh, that's it. Unique is opaque medium ideal for creating dimensional crackled effects on surfaces used with stencil or def for defined texture or apply freely with a palette knife, colorized, wet or dry using a variety of distress products to clean, clean texture paste from tools, yada, yada, yada. So uh, this is actually my second jar of this. I haven't cracked open either one, but I saw it was on clearance, so I bought it. <laughs> so I got some uh, Sculpey air dry clay. This is bright white. And um, I've used, I haven't used Sculpey air dry clay before, but I have used other air dry clay, so I'd like to see how this is. I have used Sculpey polymer clay, so I want to see how this is to use. And um, 
and I'm looking forward to playing with that. I bought some molds because they were there and they looked kind of cool. And uh, these are in the cake decorating aisle. Uh, but I used it for working with polymer clay and some of the, you know, something else that I bought, which I thought is kind of cool. And these don't have, they have some detail to them, but you know, it's not, it's not, it's not a lot, but they're not bad. So they're leaves, something I know that I'll be able to use somewhere, somehow. Uh, I have a lot of sea themed molds, uh, but I liked I liked these as well. I wonder how that one's gonna turn out. That's one of those like conch shells. Uh, this has, they have a lot of depth to them. This doesn't have as much depth, but these other ones have a lot of depth to them, which you have to take in, into consideration when you're working with stuff. And let's see, I got this. This is a flower or a rose mold. It doesn't have names on them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I thought this would be nice to work with. And I have a project in mind. Uh, I've had this project in mind for a long time and um, haven't been able to execute it for various reasons. And let, let's see if this helps me execute. Uh, and here's another flower one. This is more of like mums and sunflowers, and this is a nice little daisy. And what is this, a sakura flower or forget-me-not or whatever. Sunflower for sure. Maybe another sunflower. This looks like a mum of some sort. But I got those to add to my collection of molds. And let's see, one last thing that I want to show you that I saw at the register <laughs> and it's on clearance not a terrific bargain but uh nonetheless it was on clearance so it was at a reduced price and i'm wondering if anybody out there has ever used this craft smart clear casting and coating resin i am not using this to coat anything at least not not that I can think of, but it's a two-part resin process and I plan on using it to do molds. Um, if you've seen some pre previous videos that I've made, uh, I made some feet for um, Rolodex boxes that I made and I used casting resin. The amazing casting resin was what it was called. And that was pretty expensive. Two smaller bottles and I don't know, you know, how much liquid was in the bottles, but this is a total of a gallon. <laughs> so I'm guessing um, they were much smaller. I mean, the bottles were maybe about, about this long and maybe, uh, you know, about that wide of the two-part resin. So this is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and I hope... I hope it lasts and I hope it works really well. And um, and I'm looking forward to playing with it a little bit. I had a lot of fun making those feet and some of the other decor items that I made. So that's my haul, everybody. I hope you saw some things that you liked. Uh, I am thinking about picking up a couple more of these or some of the different shapes that they have because uh, the cart is never big enough. Uh, but I did manage to clean and rearrange my desk area a little bit. It was it was getting a little unwieldy. And so, um, and it's still a little unwieldy, but it's a little bit more organized. There's less stuff congregating on my table and organized. And, you know, an organized craft room is a helpful craft room because you know where your stuff is you have it all at hand and so um if i get more coupons from michael's i think i'll pick up a few more of these or the different styles that they have but that's all i have for now everybody i hope you enjoyed my haul leave a comment below and tell me what was your favorite thing oh i got this too i didn't tell you about this but this was uh i guess 750 i paid for that did i pay that much for it Really? I just thought it was cute. It's a mushroom. It's a rattan. It's a it's a rattan mushroom. It's not real rattan. It's resin. But I just thought it was cute. <laughs> and
Anyway, that's me, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing was from the whole thing. And bye!